Hi everyone, it's Mike the Blog Builder Guy, and in today's tutorial we're going to talk a little bit about protecting the WP config file. Now, in previous posts, I've uh, mentioned that the WP config file is one of the most important files in the WordPress file system. And so far, we've made some modifications to that file to make our blog setup a little bit more secure. But now we need to secure the WP config file itself. So in this particular video, I'm going to be showing you, showing you how to get into the .htaccess file to prevent anyone from gaining access to the WP config file. So over here, as you can see, we're in our cPanel dashboard at HostGator. If you have another host that uses cPanel, your dashboard will be very similar. Scroll on down to the file manager click that. Now you can see here this is the website we're going to be working with. Now over here you'll see this little box that says show hidden files. Now the .ht access file is a hidden file. Anytime you see a file with a dot in front of it that means it's a hidden file. So we need to check this box right here so we will show the hidden files. Okay we've done that. We're going to click on go and the files for this site open up and you can see right here the .ht access file. Now there's a couple important things that you need to know about the uh, ht access file. This file works at the server level. All right, It's what is known as an Apache file. And Apache files are what run almost all the servers. So if you do something to this file and corrupt it, your site's going to go down hard and it's going to stay down until you figure out what you did wrong and correct it. So one of the first things I'm going to show you how to do is to hopefully protect yourself. So we're, as I've highlighted this HD access file, I'm going to go up here to the code editor. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to come down to edit. And the very first thing I want you to do is highlight all this code and I want you to copy it and put it in something like a notepad if you're on a PC. If you're on a Mac you probably know whatever f program you got there that's similar to the uh, notepad in the PC. So take that, copy it, and put it somewhere safe in case you mess up this file all you've got to do is come back here, paste this code back in, and restore it. Okay? You'll be safe. Again, copy and put this somewhere safe. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to put in some code. And I just paused the, uh, the video just while I typed this in as to uh, save you the agony of watching me type, erase, type, erase. What we got here in the first line is files, and it says what particular file it is, and it's obviously the wp-config file. The next line asks what it is you want to do to the wp-config file. Do you want to allow access, or do you want to deny access? And what we want to do is deny from all. So no one but you will be allowed to access the WP config file. Now your server can talk to the WP config file. Your WordPress can certainly talk to it, but no one else can talk to the WP config file except you. So if you're worried about you're not going to have access to the file, don't. As long as you're logged in properly to your site, you'll have access to the WP config file. But again, no one else will because as it says here, deny from all. All right, so that's a pretty simple thing. And again, I want to re reiterate once more, copy and paste this somewhere safe until you're done editing the file. Once you've got this code in here, I want you to go up here and click on Save Changes. And that will be that. Your WP config file is now safe. And as always, if you have any questions about WordPress security or, you know, questions about WordPress in general, please let the blog builder guy know. 
And until the next time we talk, I thank you very much. Have a good day.